what he did tell her was that T.D. Jakes was gay and that T.D. Jakes had had a relationship with a man. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. And now it seems like the fire is coming out the door. For some of us, when all this stuff comes out, we're not going to be devastated because maybe we knew some of these things. A woman that has been working with Potter's House for years uh, came out on her own YouTube page and said that this scandal is much bigger than what people realize. And so what I would encourage all of us to remember, especially if you are going to be devastated, don't let that affect your relationship with God, okay? And, and if you do begin to wonder why did God allow this and all that, you have to understand it wasn't God allowing, it was us allowing. These rumors have been out for years. How come the church never held him accountable? And she started off on this podcast even saying that she's not afraid of being sued. Um, and I will tell you all that um, I'm not worried about being sued. Anything I share here, I'm not worried about being sued. Yeah, there are people talking who are just sharing rumors, but... Um, not all of us are sharing rumors, okay? The woman seemed to have a lot of knowledge. She said the uh, two oldest kids of T.D. Jakes are not his biologically, but yes, they are in fact putting the branch under their nose. Those two sons, they are not the biological children of, T of Thomas, okay? And yes, he did later adopt them. So he's the man that raised them. The Jakes have five children. There are the twin boys. Both of their names start with a, a J. One is light skin. One is dark skin. I've seen both of the sons. I've met one of them in particular. I talk with him. Um, but anyway, yes, it is true that the two under, older sons are gay. One of the more interesting stories that she had to report is that T.D. Jake's wife, Sarita, is an enabler. Uh, she pretty much also called her a beard. And for those of you who are not familiar with this Hollywood term that's called beard, it's when a gay man marries a straight woman for the way that it looks, you know, like a beard. I want all of you to understand that Sarita was a part of the cover up. So very often when things come out about these husbands, the wives, nobody really the wives get to play innocent. People assume they're innocent, kind of like the Vanessa Long, Eddie Long situation. People assume they're innocent. Uh, the wife kind of skates off and people look at her like, oh, but that's never the case. It's never the case. She's not innocent. What I'm saying is when it all comes out, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, poor Sarita. No, it's not going to be poor Sarita. Sarita, people have gotten information back to Sarita for years about her husband. And then that, that was a time when women would marry men who maybe were used to be homosexuals and, and because they believe, well, this he has changed or that I can change him or whatever. I will say you do need to check out this a two-part series she has of this whole Potter House scandal. The most interesting thing she said to me in these two podcasts is that T.D. Jakes was a part of the exorcist. They were trying to uh, pray away the gay on one of the members of the church. She said that the people in the room, when it seemed like they was about to exorcise the demon and get the gay to go away, that each time that moment came, <laughs> T.D. Jakes would lead a the room. There was a time when the Jakes lived near what is no, what, White Rock Lake in Dallas. Okay, They had a home. They used to have a home over there. And she told me her friend was part of this group of people that had gone to the house. But I don't know how many sessions they had, but this was a time, as I said earlier, where people kind of saw homosexuality differently, especially in the church. And so they believed that it was an evil spirit and it could be cast out. And so she was telling me that the friend had said that they had had a few sessions at the Jake's home where they were trying to cast the devil out of these two boys. And she, I remember, I'll never forget, she said to me, she said, and, and, they said every time they would get to a point where they thought they were going to cast him out, Jakes would leave the room. Look, I'm going to be here to report this and I'm going to keep it fair. Uh, it does say in the word before the Most High comes back that he is going to first tear apart the church. And who knows? Maybe this is that part of Revelations that we read about. Or maybe this is just another Internet scandal that there's nothing behind. 
Uh, we have yet to see this, man, but <laughs> so I'm here to see this and so are you. But you let me know in the comments section how you feel about this. <laughs> TD Jake's leaving during gay exorcist. Wow. Oh, and do me one small favor before you leave. Hit that like button. If you haven't yet, apply pressure to that subscribe button. Moxie out.